Hello. This video explains what a wave cut platform is and how it's formed. This is for the coastal landscape section of edXLA GCSE Geography. Before we begin, we need to remind ourselves that there are five physical processes. Physical processes are anything that changes the look or shape of the landscape, and in this case, the coastal area. The physical process that we need to concentrate on today is erosion. Erosion is the wearing away of rocks by moving water. Erosion is the wearing away of rocks by moving water. Now we already know that there are four types of erosion. Attrition, abrasion, solution and hydraulic action. Now these are all involved in wave cut platforms but there are two that are particularly important and we are going to focus on. These are hydraulic action and abrasion. Hydraulic action is where the force of the waves hitting the cliff um, compresses the air in the gaps and breaks off pieces of the cliff. So the waves force air into any gaps that and cracks that are already in the rock and this forces pieces to break off. Abrasion is where rocks are picked up by the waves and they are thrown against the cliff causing bits of the cliff to break off. This is like if we threw a tennis ball at the classroom wall it may cause some of the displays to fall down. So abrasion is the rocks being thrown against the cliff and pieces of the cliff breaking off. The next thing we need to know is gravity. The gravity is a force that causes objects to fall towards the earth. So what is a wave cut platform? Here we have two pictures of wave cut platforms. You can see in both of them that there is a very flat area of rock and sediment with very, very steep cliffs rising out of it. So this flat area is the wave cut platform. You can see on these two pictures that there are different patterns in the rocks. We don't need to worry about this. This is to do with the rock type. Um, all we need to know is that the wave cut platform is a flat area with cliffs rising up. Now the sea will sometimes at high tide cover the wave cut platform completely and come up to the cliffs. In these pictures it's low tide so the sea has retreated back exposing the platform. How do wave cut platforms look on OS maps? Here's an example. We can see this area here. It's labelled mud and sand. This is the wave cut platform. And a big clue is that it has these two lines showing mean high water and mean low water. Mean high water is the highest point that the water reaches at high tide. So we know that that is at the bottom of a cliff. And the mean low water is the lowest point that the seawater will reach at low tide. So the platform will be exposed. So we know that this is the wave cut platform and here is where the cliff starts. Okay, let's test ourselves. I'd like you to pause the video and decide which of these is a wave cut platform. Okay, so the answer is B. We know this is a wave cut platform because it has this flat area with steep cliffs rising up out of it. In this example, the sea is about halfway in, um, therefore here it has reached the cliff edge but here it hasn't yet. So underneath the sea here, there is likely to be the wave cut platform. A shows cliffs, 
but it shows a beach with some riprap or rock harbour, which is a method of coastal management. So it's not a wave cut platform. Okay. Pause the video and decide which of these is a wave cut platform. Okay, so the answer is A. In A, we have this area of mud and sand, uh, but importantly, we have the mean low water mark and the mean high water mark showing a wave cut platform. In B, we have a very different and distinct landform, which is a spit. It has mud and sand behind it, um, but this landform has this very distinct shape that we should know is a spit. Okay, so how does a wave cut platform form? I'd like you to watch carefully. Here is our cliff and here is the base of the cliff. Here is where the low water comes to and here is where the high water comes to. So at high water, waves reach the base of the cliff. So waves are coming right up to the cliff. Hydraulic action erodes the rock and a wave cut notch is formed. This is called undercutting. So the type of erosion called hydraulic action causes the rock to be eroded away, forming a wave cut notch, like a little mini cave. And this undercuts the cliff. Really important word to know. As the wave cut notch gets deeper, the overhang, the hanging over part of the cliff, becomes unstable and collapses due to gravity. Material that used to make up the cliff overhang is now at the base of the cliff. So these are pieces of cliff, rock, pebbles that have fallen when the cliff collapsed and this causes abrasion. So when the waves come up, they pick up these pieces of rock and they throw them at the cliff, causing the cliff to break. So this is more erosion happening to make the wave cut notch even deeper. Over time, the cliff retreats back further and further and the wave cut platform is left where the cliff used to be. So the cliff is falling down again and again, and eventually it's going back and back and back. And what is left is this long wave cut platform. Okay, I'd like you to pause the video, uh, draw your own diagram and label it fully using the boxes provided. We're now going to watch a short video that shows us how wave cut platforms are formed in real life. Sea cliffs are the main erosional landform of coastlines and we're now down at the base of the cliffs to look at their features and how they're formed by some of the erosional processes that we've talked about. So we're down here at the base of the cliff, and this is the high energy zone between the high water mark that you can see here, where the rock changes colour, all the way down to the low water mark where the sea is at the moment. This is the high energy zone, where the marine erosional processes act on the cliff more rapidly than the subaerial processes. Over time, these processes are going to act on the base of the cliff. It starts to undercut it, and we get formed a wave cut notch. The sea and all those erosional marine processes are acting on the base of the cliff, undercutting the cliff until it can't hold its own weight and it eventually collapses. And when the cliff collapses, all the material ends up down here at the base of the cliff, where we can see it's now being broken down and rounded by the attrition processes that we've talked about. This sequence of events happens again and again and again over time forcing the cliff to retreat inland. And this leaves behind this wave cut platform, which we can see gently sloping out to sea. Okay, 
Okay, that was an excellent example of a wave cut platform there at the end. Okay, so we have our diagram of a wave cut platform and we've seen how it looks in real life. Uh, we are now going to explain how a wave cut platform is formed using this paragraph and these diagrams. Now in an exam you might not necessarily get a diagram that is exactly the same as the one that you're used to using, so we need to practice um, how we will adapt to using different styles of diagrams. So I would like you to copy out this paragraph, use the words at the bottom to complete the gap fill, um, and use the diagrams on the right hand side to help you. Okay, so let's have a look at the answers. At the base of the cliff, the waves hit the rock with high energy, leading to hydraulic action happening at A. So we've got hydraulic action happening here where the waves hit the rock. This leads to A wave cut notch forming at B. So here we have the notch starting to be eroded away. This leads to the weakening of the cliff, which means it collapses under its own weight due to gravity. This leaves rocks behind at C, so here we have to imagine those rocks which used to be the cliff, um, leading to abrasion happening at the base of the cliff. Abrasion. Over time, this process repeats and the cliff retreats leaving behind a wave cut platform and we've got the spare notch there. Okay I'd like you to pause the video and correct your work if you didn't manage to get all of those correct. If you are in Key Stage 3 you can stop the video now, if you are in a GCSE group uh, we are going to continue with an exam question. Okay, so here is our exam question. Examine the physical processes involved in the formation of the landform in figure one. So here we have a photograph and it's asking us about this landform which we know is a wave cut platform. Now this is an examine question Therefore, we have to use evidence from the figure, evidence from the figure. We, it's an eight mark question and that is made up of four marks from evidence and four marks from explanation. So we need to find four pieces of evidence from this figure to include in our answer and to help us explain how the wave cut platform has formed. A good way of starting off that will help us include one piece of evidence straight away is to use the sentence, I can see in figure one that. Okay, so let's have a look at four pieces of evidence we can use from this photo. First of all, very, very obvious, um, but we can say there is a wave cut platform evidence piece number one. There is a wave cut platform. Second piece of evidence, there are cliffs with a wave cut notch. We can see at the bottom of the cliff here that there is a slight wave cut notch or a cave that is starting to be formed. Third piece of evidence, the cliff has receded 100 metres. So the examiner has provided a scale here so if we move this scale over to here, we could see that the wave cut platform is around 100 meters uh, in length. It doesn't have to be 100% precise, but approximation will be fine. And so the cliff has receded or gone back by 100 meters. And lastly, we can see sediment at the base of the cliff here and here. So we can see that the cliff has fallen and these are the old pieces of the cliff 
at the base of the cliff. Okay, so those are four pieces of evidence that you can use. And these should be combined with the explanation of how the platform forms. Okay, I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at writing your own eight mark answer. Okay, so in summary, this is an examining question. So remember that four marks are for explaining how the landform is formed and four marks are for including specific evidence from the source. I would like you to look through your answer and give yourself a tick in green pen each time you have included a piece of evidence to check that you have included four pieces of evidence. Okay, now we know how to explain how a wave cut platform is formed.